We all start things off with a tag match with the with the terrors versus the dirty pair. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, the Sailor and the Ghost, the Terrors. Here we go, guys. Tag Ugh. team action is underway. When you have oh. competitors on the level of these women, you just know it's going to be a great match. Ooh. Elbow tie up. Only one competitor comes out ahead here. You 
got to believe this one's over. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Oh, she's taking on some heat. By no means is this dire straits for her, though. Oof. The good news is that if it gets too out of control, she has her partner she can tag in while she catches her breath in the corner. Her opponent clearly wants to prove a point tonight. And you know what? I think it's working. Oh, nasty impact. Harsh impact. In May of 2017, SmackDown Live saw an incredible women's tag team match when Charlotte Flair and Becky Lynch squared off against welcoming committee members Natalya and Carmella. The rivalry between these women got so intense that Naomi was in Flair and Lynch's corner, and Tamina was in Natalya and Carmella's corner. I think only a group as treacherous as the welcoming committee could bring Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair back together. Natalya's power set the tone for the match and gave her team an advantage. That was until Carmella's overconfidence let the Irish last kicker turn the tide and get back into the match. And then it was elementary from there for the Irish-born superstar. Naomi did an excellent job of making sure any quote-unquote committee nonsense cost her girls the match. Once Becky Lynch got Carmella locked in the disarmor, there was nothing for the Staten Island Princess to do but to tap out. And it didn't take long for that to happen. During the rivalry between the Hardy Boys and Cesaro and Sheamus over the Raw Tag Team Championship, the teams became very familiar with one another. In June of 2017, the teams met in a two out of three falls bout on Monday Night Raw. The most important fall in a two out of three falls contest is the first fall. If a team can win the first fall, that sets the tone for the rest of the match and your opponents are playing catch up. The two out of three falls match that saw the Hardy Boys go at it with Cesaro and Sheamus was a throwback of sorts. Throughout the 1960s and 70s, championship title defenses and grudge matches were often decided in the two out of three falls format. Cesaro and Sheamus didn't waste any time and scored the decisive first fall after a broke kick rocked Jeff Hardy. Cesaro and Sheamus wanted to continue their domination of Team Extreme, but the Hardys had other ideas as Matt tied things up at one fall apiece after a twist of fate on the Swiss Cyborg. After a swanton bomb by Jeff Hardy, the match broke down, and the third fall was ruled a double countout. There have been times in sports entertainment when unlikely duos have formed, and over time they develop and bond and become an outstanding tag team combination. The team that immediately comes to mind is the powerhouse duo of Cesaro and Sheamus. After their thrilling best of seven series, I wouldn't think they'd develop into a top tag team. But I don't think anyone thought Cesaro and Sheamus would develop into a premier tag team. Over time, the superstars realized that they were better as allies than as enemies. And when they combined their incredible strength, the results were something that couldn't be ignored. It was really unbelievable to witness the evolution of Cesaro and Sheamus as a team. We saw them improve every week and conquer a variety of opponents. To see the... She might have it. It doesn't look like she's going to get... And she breaks free. I don't know how she did it, but that was impressive. Slammed with authority. Boom! <laughs> she's got her. Oh, man, she's rolling now. She's on the defensive now. Her and her partner make it a great tag team. We'll see what they're made of here. I really like oh. Damn it. She got it. We know what's coming here. Ooh, what impact.
She's certainly looking good. And she kicks out at two. She's still in this one. Caught with the elbow. Right on the jaw. Look at her go. She's... Boom, what impact. Oh, it's over. All in. Oh, this. oh knees right to the gut. This could be... Looks like she wants to win early. What an incredible tag team contest. And here's another quick look at those superstars in action in that tag team battle. Look at her go. Man, oh man, look at that. That's a woman on a mission. And last but not least, there was this. Here are your winners, the Sailor and the Ghost, the Terrors. It could have gone either way there for a while. Any way you slice it, that win right there is beyond important. Oh. Wow. The Terrors now wow. picked up a I'm victory. Speechless. What an amazing match. Nice. Now they're making me feel uncomfortable while they're looking at the screen. Let's keep the tag team thing rolling, shall we? We have Los Vacantes taking on the Exotic Warriors, which who I assuming are still the NXT Tag Team Champs. contest is scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring at a combined weight of 465 pounds the living legend and the ladies man two man power trip
and their opponents at a combined weight of 552 pounds. Okay, folks, I did stand Vega corrected. They aren't the, the King, NXT Tag Champs anymore. We're just moments away from this huge tag team match, guys. And I don't think I've ever seen these four superstars more motivated than they appear to be heading into this one, Michael. Both Man. legal men are in the ring and set to start things off here. We're ready to go. Doesn't get any better than this. We're about to witness tag Ouch. team action at its finest, fellas. Beautiful technique. For many years, members of the WWE Universe and the WWE Locker Room have felt that tag team matches should have two referees. One referee is in the ring overseeing the action, and the other is located out on the floor, making sure teams follow the rules and do not engage in potentially damaging behavior. I think it's a good idea, something perhaps Mr. McMahon might want to consider. Byron, earlier you raised a point that people have been talking about for years, and that's a second referee being appointed to tag team matches. I remember WWE Hall of Famer and former WWE President Gorilla Monsoon used to express his strong advocacy for two referees being appointed to tag team matches. Uh, it's something that's been talked about for decades, Michael, and I don't think it's ever going to happen. We've seen it on occasion, but I think it's best to let the superstars be responsible for themselves. And the appointed official for the match needs to do the job they're paid to do. I don't think it's that much to ask. Suplex! What a stomp! Good grief! Effectively using the knee. Two. Gets out of the way of that one. This might be it! Oh my! The end may be near, folks. Ouch. I don't recall the last time he looked so fatigued. I'm not sure he has much left. Yeah, this is hard to watch now. I mean, he is taking quite a beating oh, in there. Reverses that one. Back now inside the ring. Bringing it back between the ropes. There it is. The tag has been made. Oh, he needed that in the worst way, Michael. Oh, and he reverses it. He's making a statement here with this attack. It might be cliche, but it's true here. It ain't over till it's over. This is what makes him one of the best Ooh. in the business. Dropkick hits the mark. Not much behind that pin attempt. Too early in the match to end it. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. Harsh impact. You gotta believe this one's over. Oh, 
Oh, what incredible power. Wow, what a vertical suplex. I'm not sure how much he has left. Two. Looking to steal one there, perhaps. Yeah, seem to be just testing the waters a bit there. Oh, boy, he is rolling. He's too quick for him there. Looking for the win. He gets it with a reversal. This might not have been a wise move for him here, Michael. He forces his way free. Man, he just has so much resolve. Here he goes. Can he finish the job? Shoulders on the mat. They did it. And here's and Los Bacantes walk away with a win. Oh, I can't believe this. Who could forget this? This was another great moment. And I always enjoy watching him perform. Here are your winners, the living legend and the ladies man. Two-man power trip. Now that's an eye-opening victory. I knew these two were a great team. I just didn't know how great. Wow. They really impressed me out here. And it'll be interesting to see the ripple effects this win has in the weeks to come. Alright, now we have a random Shadow Priest taking on Akihiko Sonata. Making his way to the ring from every man's nightmare. There is an absolutely big fight feel in the arena tonight for this one. Pounds. Yeah, and judging from the vibe Shay. here currently, it seems to me like this is the one this sold out crowd came to see.
and his opponent from Kobe, Japan, weighing in at 185 pounds, the WWE Cruiserweight Champion, The Bruiser. Singles action on its way, and it sounds like this arena is more than ready to kick this one off. So is social media, Michael. The opening bell hasn't even rung, and yet both these superstars are already trending. These competitors are squaring off looking to outmatch each other. It's going to be a tall task for one of these two. When I looked at the card for tonight, this Man. one definitely stood out as one you don't want to miss. You know, even though the title is not on the line, this is still an important match for the champ. He can't afford to show any weakness here. Oh, impactful slam! Ah. What a stomp! Good grief! Oh, man, a little extra luster behind that kick. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Tying up the legs now. Oh, look at the surfboard! Oh my goodness, this hurts! Oh! He's got him covered. It's going to take more than that to keep his shoulders down. Too early in the match to end it. Oh man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Shoulders on the back. And he doesn't stay down for long. Not yet. Oh, going to the top. High risk. He's lining him up. He wants no part of this. Boom, what impact! He's going for the pin. Not much behind that pin attempt. Too yeah. soon. Oh, he turns it around. Oh, 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 oh. He's starting to stumble here. He may have to start reevaluating his oh. game plan. He just has to make sure this doesn't get too out of hand for him. Sometimes, momentum has a way of oh, permanently swinging one way. That's what he wants to avoid here. This match is so evenly contested right now that it's almost Jeez. impossible to pick a winner. I guess we'll just have to settle in and enjoy the action. Elbow drop! His shoulders are down. And he kicks out. Too soon. Oh boy, he is rolling. in there. He's looking a little off balance. Wow. He doesn't want to let this match get out of control, guys. He's not looking like himself right now, and I hate to say it, but this might be the beginning of the end for him here. All the way out. Suplex! Oh, no. We know what this is. Big slam. This could be it. There may be no coming back from that slam, Cole. Bad spot for him to be in here, guys. He's got to do something to get back in this thing. Got the shoulders down. This guy's a competitor. He's not going down yet. So resourceful. It's starting to look bleak for him now. There may be no coming back from this. Yeah, he's in bad shape right now. But come on, it's nothing we haven't seen him overcome in the past. Wide uppercut! That'll cost some teeth. He's not in a good spot here, guys. He simply needs to find a way to regroup. 
Oh, the referee better get a hold of things. He's calling for it. Across the shoulders. Down, Samoan driver. That has got to be it. That'll readjust your spine. He's got the shoulders down. A kick out, and he almost had him. Not quite. This could end. Beautiful technique. Now it's time to capitalize. He goes for the cover. Two, and he breaks the cover. He isn't going to go away that easy. Nasty one right to the chest. Nice cap kick. Great elevation. But he's got to capitalize now. When this guy's on, look out. Good night. Good grief. But can he follow up here? Avoids trouble there. What a strike. Looking for the finish. He looks, oh, nasty impact. That should do it. That was both a quick going for the cover. One, two, three. He's done it. He's done it. I can't believe it. He's done it. These guys feel no love for each other. Here's another look. Check him out here. I remember this part very well. Remember this? And this is how he ended it. Here is your winner, the Bruiser. They proved who the better competitor was tonight. Hey, they both.
sorry about that folks I had a business call Ooh, first off match options got distracted with the business call so that's probably why it seems like I'm I'm stalling a little sorry about that folks but now we're back on track gotta look at my notes but yeah coming up next 24 7 title because I don't feel like letting it close the show because I feel like we close we let that close the show a lot so we're just switching it up So Geese will be defending this title against El Blaze and Brick of the Rowdy Rough Boys. contest is an elimination match and is for the championship introducing the challenger from area 51 weighing in at 200 pounds three big, big names set the new battle here tonight guys in this triple threat match you're right michael it doesn't get much bigger than this and judging from the crowd reaction they completely agree with us
And introducing the challenger from Mexico, weighing in at 154 pounds, the luchador. Ladies and gentlemen, the atmosphere inside this arena right now is absolutely unreal. This crowd cannot wait to get to this triple threat match. And they haven't sat down yet, Michael. I'm willing to bet they'll be on their feet the entire match. And introducing the champion from the United States of America, weighing in at 181 Byron, pounds. what's the game plan for he these superstars heading the into this WWE triple threat match? Michael, a lot of times you'll see a competitor champion, lurking in the weeds, just the waiting for the right time to strike. But knowing these three superstars the way I do, I doubt we'll see any of them standing by idly here tonight. Here we go, folks. Triple threat action underway here. Well, we're looking at three of WWE's best going at it head to head to head in what promises to be an amazing match. Outrageous athleticism on the Hurricanrana. Hooked up. Caught. Ooh, what impact. What a Hurricanrana. Set him up. Russian leg sweep. Boom! Ooh, hoo, hoo. Gets him in position. This is not going to end well for him, Michael. Nailed it. German suplex. Uh-oh. German suplex. And the DDT! Oh, damage to the body. Challenger's starting to falter. He's going to need to find a way to fire back. He's got to be careful here. While he hasn't absorbed too much punishment yet, triple threat matches have a way of getting out of hand very quickly. I know it's somewhat early still, but this could be a pivotal point in this match, guys. Let's see how he reacts here. Not where he wants to be right now. Hey, he got himself into this mess. He's got to get himself out of it now. And now that one's countered. Wow, that was impressive, Michael. What a slam! Impactful. Will jar your spine. Oof! He's looking at it. Is he done? Whoa, he gets out of it. He's at another level right now, Michael.
At 2016's Clash of Champions, it was another classic triple threat match for the oh, Raw man. Women's Championship. It was Bailey versus the boss, Sasha Banks, versus the champion, Charlotte Flair. The match started out more like a singles match between the boss and the queen. Bailey learned very quickly it was every woman for herself. The triple threat match for the Raw Women's Championship was another example of the incredible competition between the female superstars of WWE. Charlotte was physically dominant in fighting off the challenges of Bayley and Sasha Banks. At one point, the Queen even landed a moonsault on both their opponents at the same time. But the boss and Bayley put it all on the line and kept fighting. There were several near pinfalls during this battle, but in the end, as it should be, the Queen exhibited her genetic superiority by fighting off both her challengers. After drilling Bailey with a boot to the face, the Queen pinned the hugger and retained her Raw Women's Championship. What a stomp! Good grief! Oh, what a gut buster! Here comes the setup, double underhook! In February of 2017, SmackDown Live was lit thanks to an epic triple threat match for the WWE Championship. Champion Bray Wyatt defended the title against... He might have it. Harsh impact. Penny predicament. A competitor has been eliminated. Nailed it. It's not often that the WWE Championship is incapacitated before a title defense. John Cena and AJ Styles rekindled the rivalry with a renewed enthusiasm for destroying one another. This could be it. Cover. Digging deep for a kick out. Uh-uh. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Too quick for him there. The challenger in some big trouble here. At this point, his confidence has to be at zero. This one could go either way, guys. It might just come down to which superstar is the next to make a mistake. Looking for the exclamation point. Is he done? And he breaks free just when you thought he was out of this one. Big backdrop. Now oh, the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. Oh, continuing to punish them. Oh, he's able to reverse it. Suplex. That's how you wear down your opponent. Oh, man, right to the neck. Oh, this is the best. Couple of jabs. A little, little shake rattle and a boom. But he's running on fumes here. This Here's the pin. Title on the line. Three. Has been it's all over. Eliminated. What an amazing triple threat contest. And Brick is your new 24-7 champion. He ain't messing around. No doubt about it, he brought his A game, as you can see here. Here is your winner and new WWE Non-Stop Champion, Big Meanie. Gonna feel the effects of this win for a while. He was just better than the other two tonight. That's all there is to it. You got that right, partner. Again, Huge win here tonight.
All right. Up next, we have Valentine versus Dural. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from another time, Valentine. As we ready for singles action, Byron, what can you tell us about these two competitors? Well, I can say that both of these superstars come into this match incredibly hungry to prove their dominance here tonight. But as we all know, only one will walk away with their arm raised in victory. One-on-one -on -one action coming up here, guys, and I'm willing to bet this will be one we won't soon forget. Totally agree, Michael. When you have two superstars as hungry as these two competing in the ring, you can bet it'll be memorable. Singles action is underway, and in this one, I wouldn't attempt to predict what's going to happen. I'd just be ready for anything. Sometimes that's all you can do. She's calling her out. One more shot, and she's done. Beautiful technique. Things starting to go the other way for her, though we've seen her come back from worse in the past. And you just get that feeling that being outside the ring so much here in this match oh. will eventually come back to haunt her. I definitely didn't anticipate her struggling so much, but hey, crazier things have happened here in the WWE. James Ellsworth 2016 is a perfect example of that.
Oh, hair pulled net slam. Ooh. Beginning to look bad for her here. We've certainly seen her withstand worse in the past, though. If you're oh. worried about her now, you haven't seen many of her matches. She can withstand so much more punishment than this. She goes for the quick pin. You're not going to get her that easy. Yeah, I seem to be just testing the waters a bit there. She comes up big with a reversal. Uh, I think this is the beginning of the end. Face Buster! Man, that was vicious. Here's the cover. She's not going away yet. She came here to fight, not lay down. When she gets in attack mode, look out. Ouch. Here we go. Oh, what impact. This could be the turning point. This could be it. Oh, man. Backbreaker. Wow, the crowd's on the edge of their seat. And here's a cover. You're not going to get her that easy. I knew she could do it. Once again, thank you for tuning into this great women's matchup. The shoulders are down. You're not going to win any matches that easily. She's still in this one. at complete domination here. She's in control. She's got her. What have we got here? Slap! She's fading very quickly here, guys. This may very well be the beginning of the end for her. She looks shocked right now, guys. I don't think in her wildest dreams she thought she would be in this position right now. She's looking a little unsteady. If she's not careful, she's going to find herself in some serious trouble here. I really expected much more from her here tonight. I'm pretty shocked to see her absorb so much punishment. Well, I still think she has the best shot at winning this match. She just seems one step faster than her opponent here tonight. You guys see that distance? I knew it was only a matter of time. Can she keep her down? Kicking out of that may have used up her last bit of energy. Not yet. Going all the way up. Incoming. I'll break your crown. Kick, kick on the mark. See where she's going with this. Here we go a second time. This might be it. Oh, my. This one is over. This may very well be it. The resolve this woman is showing right now is absolutely unreal. I can't believe she kicked out there. She is on fire. sights we have seen her here before
She wants it one more time. Oh, nasty impact. What a comeback. Will it be? Two. She's got some fight left in her. She's still in this one. She's got that gleam in her eyes. Oh, no, 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 oh, no. Oh, yeah. Suplex. If that doesn't end it, I don't know what will. Three. Unbelievable. This singles match is over. Now let's take another look at these wonderful women in action. She's taking care of business. Check this out. Man, this was great. Dang, Valentine manages to get drunk. And last but not least. Here is your winner, Valentine. Ladies and gentlemen, that's a very big win here tonight. And talk about displaying a never say die attitude. It was as if winning was the only option here tonight. Well, that was indeed a great match. And I think it's worth emphasizing how huge this victory is. All right, next up we have Mike Hagar taking on Shadow Geist. contest is scheduled for one fall making his way to the ring from new york new york ladies and gentlemen it's now time for one-on-one -on -one action pounds. and michael it sounds to me like Macho this crowd already Mike. picked the one who they want to win this match
his opponent from the United States of America, weighing in at 220 pounds, the WWE Champion, The Anarchist. Byron, tell me, how do you think the champ looks heading into this one? I'm impressed, Michael. Sometimes you see a champion look a little less motivated when the title is not on the line. But that's clearly not the case here tonight. You can feel the electricity running through this arena. This is going to be some battle. One-on-one, -on -one, mano a mano. Backbreaker. That'll realign your vertebrae. Bam, what a slam. Axe handle finds its target. You gotta believe this one's over. He's starting to stagger a bit. We all know, though, this guy has plenty of fight left in him. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, Cole. This is just a little bump in the road for him here. Nothing to worry about. A lot northern. His shoulders are down. Easily kicks out of that one. It's way too early. There. That'll give you whiplash. Oh my goodness, this hurts! Oh! What a clothesline! Ouch! Boom! <laughs> Double axe handle smash. Oh boy, he is rolling. Irish curse. Not done yet. Again. How about one more? Whoa, down he goes. That was impressive, Cole. He's looking at it. Ooh, what impact. This might be it, guys. Kick out. Not yet. You have to wonder what's going through these guys' minds in a match of this magnitude. Oh, continuing to punish them. What a stomp. Good grief. He may very well have run out of gas. I wouldn't be surprised if he just passes out right here. I don't know. I don't think he truly understood just how dangerous his opposition was heading into this match. Of course, he understands that now, but it might be too little too late. Knee stop! That'll ruin your leg. He wants no part of the outside. Gonna have to compartmentalize some of the pain that's been dished out and find a way to forge on. Oh, what a clothesline. Forcefully delivered. Uh-oh. And if he hits this, this one's over. Oh, nasty impact. That has got to be in. There's a pin now. And he got a near fall out of it. And I'm just as shocked as everyone else, Cole. His opponent included.
Great one-on-one -on -one action here tonight. It doesn't get much better than this. He's not looking good here. It appears his opponent has his number right now. He's really starting to look fatigued here, guys. And when that happens, your whole body starts to give out on you. He's going to need to be careful here. The bottom line here is that despite what's going on right now, he's still in much more favorable health than his opponent. Oh, boy, he is rolling. aggression in the how do they get away with that that's not legal here we go for the win he's a long way from the three count i can tell you that way too early That's what he was looking for, Michael. It could be over here! This is it! Too close for cover. I don't believe it. He refuses to lose. Uh-oh, he's in trouble here. This is... Ooh. But can he follow up here? Now that got those shoulders on the mat. Two! Well, that was a close call. This is amazing! No, there's the reversal. Exhausting a lot of energy here with this cradle. Yeah, but more than likely it will pay off. Oh boy, he is rolling. When this guy's on, look out. Out of time. He's got the shoulders down. Two. Oh, how resilient was that? Look at the look on his opponent's face, Cole. He can't believe it. Iris curse. Not done yet. Again! How about one more? Beautiful technique. To think, I almost wrote him off earlier. If it doesn't end the match this time, it might be time for a new finisher. He won't nail it. Warm up the bus. This one is over. Even more amazing this time around, Cole. The cover. One, two, three. You can put this one in the bank. These guys gave everyone their money's worth. Here's another look. And Shadow Guys wins. He's getting after it here. Almost forgot about this one. Yeah, he's putting in the work. Ain't nothing better than action like this. Here is your winner. An amazing contest comes to a close following a decisive pinfall victory.
to get the pinfall victory over such a high quality Alright, coming up is our main event. All right, six woman tag team, folks. We got the Powerpuff Girls in their Z attires taking on the Kamikaze Typhoon and Bliss. If y'all been following the story behind all four of these Powerpuff Girls, you would know that you know once upon a time ago all four was in the same stable then like after Wrestlemania you know Blossom, Bubbles and Buttercup turned heel and kicked Bliss out all Bliss was doing was trying to restore the peace Because both, because they were going after tag titles. Blossom and Bliss were going after the NXT Women's Tag Title, and Bubbles and Buttercup were going after the SmackDown titles. But somehow along the way, Blossom developed some aggression and cost the title. Well, cost of getting the title, the NXT tag titles with Bliss. So. I mean, I mean the videos are on YouTube. The links down below. It's kind of a lot to explain. The following contest is scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring. Cutie Pie, B, and Bruiser, the Good Girls.
Guys, it's now time for our mega three-on-three -three matchup. And, Michael, it'll be interesting to see how these two teams of three coexist. When you put in this many personalities on the same page, it's almost impossible to be on the same page 100% of the time. And their opponents, first, Justice Rose and the Asian Nightmare, Pretty Mean Sisters. And their partner, from Parts Unknown, she is Mrs. Money in the Bank, The Blueprint. Here we go as we start this three-on-three -three matchup. Good luck to the referee, guys. When you put six competitors such as this in one match, things are bound to break down in a hurry. Close line! Look at this. Beautiful. What a close line. Ouch. She's taking on some offense Yikes. here. She's got two very capable partners in her corner. Now might be a good time to bring one of them in. Wow. At this point, I think it's fair to call into question her preparation for this match. She's clearly being outclassed right now. Tag! Sent out to the center of the ring. Something that is always important in a six-man match is having the ability to perform. Look out! There's the tag! And that changes the entire outlook for these women, Michael. Oh, what a clothesline! Forcefully delivered. Over the top rope he goes! He's gonna fly! Wow! Man. 
victory is on the horizon. Teamwork is always paramount in a six-man tag match. Superstars want to be able to have a level of teamwork where two members of the trio perform a double team move and the third member follows that up with a move so their opponent is really down for the count. The key is to deliver the maximum amount of punishment to your opponent in the least amount of time. You have until the referee's count of five. It's not like you have all day in the ring, but if your team of three can deliver that type of offense, your trio will be in good shape. Looks like she wants to beat her inside the ring. Harsh impact. Ooh, what impact. Leg drop. Boom, what impact. She's starting to feel the pressure. She's got two partners in her corner itching to get in there, guys. Given what she's been through in this match, she may very well be the weak link on this team right now. She's losing steam here, fellas. This might be where her opponent looks to put her away. Well, Nelson. Oh. <laughs> what a maneuver. No kicks out in time. How in the world? Thanks to Raw General Manager Kurt Angle in May of 2017, the WWE Universe saw a dream team come together when the Hardy Boys joined forces with the lunatic fringe Dean Ambrose. The exciting trio took on Sheamus, Cesaro, and I think we know what this is. You've got to believe this one's over. Incredible. Looking at it here. Byron, we always make a point to talk about continuity amongst team members. In the six-man match, where Dean Ambrose teamed with the Hardys against Sheamus Cesaro and The Miz, both teams worked very well together. That surprised me, since this was the first time they teamed together. But there was something that night about the lunacy of Dean Ambrose fitting perfectly with the Daredevil Hardy Boys. I've got to say, I had goosebumps for a week after the Hardy Boys returned to WWE. At Over the top rope he goes! He's gonna fly! Spaceman Plancha! Got every ounce of that one. This could be over. Reverses that one. Back in from the floor. Here we go. Back inside the ring. Ooh. Tagged in. What a strike. Comes up big with the reversal. Beautiful technique. Comes in off the tag. That's going to leave a mark. She got her with a reversal. A long way down. In off the tag. This might be it. Oh, my. She's starting to stagger a bit. And a confidence she came into this six women's tag team match seems to be fading a bit. You sound surprised, Cole. Come on. Think about who she's in there with. This was bound oh. to happen sooner or later. Over time, there have been various types of six-man teams that have been successful. 
There are family trios like the Guerreros, the Grahams, the Andersons, and the Von Erichs. There have been members of factions who have also produced tremendous six-man teams like the Fabulous Freebirds, the Four Horsemen, the NWO, and D-Generation X. Oh, man, she's rolling now. Oh, wow. Byron, you mentioned some families and groups that created incredible six-man teams. Talking more about factions, don't forget about the likes of the Hart Foundation, Evolution, the Wyatt Family, the Shield, and the New Day. These are only some of the trios who had unbelievable matches against a variety of adversaries. If we're talking about three-man teams, I need to shout out one of the baddest trios of all time who held the World Six-Man Championship on a number of occasions. I'm talking about the American Dream Dusty Rhodes and the Road Warriors. When the Dream put on the face paint, you knew it was going to be a bad night for their opponents. Block. She's beginning to take some heat here. At this point, it's oh, fair man. to wonder how much more she has to give here tonight. This woman has absolutely no quit in her, guys. Taking on a little offense like this isn't going to end her night. I can assure you of that. One of these women has to pull away here eventually. At Jeez. this point, it looks like it might just be her opponent. Ooh, what impact. How much more punishment needs to be dished out? Just finish it! She might just have nothing left to give at this point. Man. And things look bleak right now. For some reason, she was just never able to get out of the gates. It's like she's been in first gear all night. Vertical suplex! Nice. That might have done it, Cole. Big reversal for her there. Tag made here. Uh-oh, this is down with a power bomb. She is on fire. Oh, man. Some good technique right there. She comes up big with a reversal. We know what this is. It's a stampede. Stampede, and that could be it. Nice. Shut it down. This could do it. And the count's broken, keeping the match alive. It's not over yet. Oh. <laughs> Here she comes on the counter. We'll see if she can turn things around. Look at the look in her eyes. She's in the zone now. the impact. Oh, the elbow drop to the knee. Oh, look at this. Really softening up the leg. There are times during a six-man tag match where the hostility between two teams overflows. The result is complete chaos and all six superstars duke it out inside and many times outside the ring. It's complete and total chaos. But if you're one of the legal competitors in the ring during that time, you must return to the ring before the referee's 10 count or risk being counted out and lose the match for your team. Byron, you talked about the moment in six-man tag matches when all semblance of order breaks down. Many times the two teams are so determined to tear each other apart that they don't pay attention to who the legal person in the ring is or where the referee is in their 10 count. That's a huge mistake. In the throes of battle, superstars lose their composure in what was a six-man tag match, breaks down into a Pier 6 brawl. If you don't keep an eye on the referee's count, you could get counted out and be the reason your team loses the match. I can see Byron making that mistake and ruining it for everybody. Suplex!
German. Look at her go. Oof. Handstand. You can see the confidence just beaming from her right now. Dodges that one. Hung out to dry. Fine DDT. Warm up the bus. This one is over. Nobody can sustain a drop like that, Michael. Six-man tag team matches have been a staple of competition since the early days of sports entertainment. Two teams of three compete against one another under traditional tag team. You gotta believe this one's over. This is all but over. Jeez, I felt that one over here. She goes for the cover. The pen's broken up. Six-man tags can be fought under so many different types of stipulations. Teams can be part of a faction. The three superstars of the line because of a common interest. The most crucial aspect. Oh, and she makes the tag. And not a moment too soon, Michael. And that one does the job. It definitely dropped her, but I'm not so sure it's over yet. It's in, it's in! Night, night. I bet you feel foolish riding her off now. For some reason, she lets it go. Did you ever stop to think that she might have something else planned here? Boom, what impact! And she's trying to flip the script here. Easier said than done, Michael. We're looking at complete domination here. She's knocked off her feet. I think that one caught her by surprise, Michael. I don't know how much more of this he can take. She looks dangerously close to losing this match right here, guys. Her opponent has been absolutely ruthless all night long. It's as if she refuses to lose here, guys. Oh, man, she's rolling now. Harsh impact. Hard landing there. Nothing to worry about. Just a little myth. Look out, look out. This could be it. She's starting to fight out, guys. Amazingly, she works her way free. Cole, there may be no beating her here tonight. What a stomp. Good grief. Gets out of the way of that one. Slap! Oh, no, you didn't. Yes, she did. Beautiful technique. There's no denying that all six of these superstars brought it here tonight. And she turns it around on her. There's no denying that all six of these superstars brought it here tonight. Filthy German suplex. Look at the look in her eyes. She's in the zone now. You gotta believe this one's over. She's turning the tables. They ain't turned yet. Still got some work to do. She is on fire. In off the tag. She's starting to feel it. She's got two very capable partners in her corner. Now might be a good time to bring one of them in. Oh, the old European uppercut. Looks like she's starting to stumble a bit. And you can't help but wonder how much of this she can sustain. This isn't your traditional tag team match, guys. These matches require a slightly altered game plan. to dry fine DDT now she just needs to finish her off 
She looks for it once again. Ring rattling. I knew it was only a matter of time. Here's a cover. One. Oh, nasty impact. Taking on any more damage here could very well mean the beginning of the end. Incredible impact. Boom. <laughs> Man, right to the arm. Hyper extends your elbow. You can see the confidence just beaming from her right now. Handstand. There's the heel kick. Ooh. She's able to get out of the way there. So close, just a little. There it is. She's made the tag. And her partner is on absolute fire right now. She's in full control now. Oh, right to the jaw. Oh, right to the face. This might be it. Oh, my. What a strike. When she gets in attack mode, look out. I don't know how much more these superstars can take, guys. You'd have to think something's got to get here soon. A high-risk maneuver that works from that top. Look out! Two. Tough situation to be in right here. Yeah, you have to think this is not going to end well. Three. Boom, what impact! Boom! She got her with a reversal. Back now inside the ring. Uh-oh. She's starting to falter here. She's going to have to turn things around in a hurry, guys. Well, she still seems to be in good shape, though. Her opponent is really going to have to pour it on here if she expects to get back in this match. Oh, and she gets floored by that one. Yeah, there's no staying on your feet after something like that. Perfectly executed. Well, that's one way to surprise an opponent. Oh, that's one way to bring it to her opponent. Big time. Oh, oh man, inverted backbreaker. Ow. Nailed it. This one's over, guys. We've got to be near. we got to cover. Hurricane Rana. What an amazing six-man tag match. These ladies and the quite power a show. of Here's girl domination continues. And if you don't enjoy watching her perform, there's something seriously wrong with you. Here are your winners, Cutie Pie.
Happy and Bruiser, the Good Girls. You heard the ring announcer. This one's over. And here's your winner. Wow, when you pick up a pinfall victory over somebody like that, Alrighty, you're doing folks, right. thank the you here tonight for watching to New Japan Pro Wrestling. What a great match. Hopefully you'll join us tomorrow for NXT. Really hope you enjoyed the show. And as always, Bubbles, his arm is bending the wrong way. But that's neither here or there. So, good fight, good night. And see you next time.